Well, hello folks. I haven't made a video in a while and I thought I'd like to make one just to showcase uh, my workshop and some of the projects I've been working on lately. I, uh, as I'm getting older, I find I don't, I'm not out chasing women or hanging around the disco much anymore, or I should say at all. And I only drink to excess about once or twice a week. So I have to find something to do in my spare time. So this is my happy place. I do a bit of woodworking, metalworking, small engine repair, electronics, all kinds of stuff. I dabble in all kinds of interesting things. And if I'm not getting my hands dirty, I'm not a happy guy. I'm just taking a little tour around, looking at some of my equipment. I uh, have lots of wrenches. I don't like to walk across the workshop and find another wrench, so I have them hanging everywhere. I have a, every time a sale is on a Canadian tire, I buy, buy an extra set so I can have one on every wall. At any rate, I've got all kinds of stuff here. And the last 20 years, I've really concentrated on metalworking. That's what I, what's really turns my crank. It's just amazing the things you can do. And lately also, I've been a little bit of addicted to these DeWalt tools. They're just amazing. You put a battery in them and they last for a million years. And I got some tools that do some fantastic, crazy things that you'd always have to do manually in the old days. Anyway, here's some of my stuff. My workshop's a little crowded. You can never have enough space, but it gives me a reason to uh, display my obsessive compulsive behavior because I like things neat and organized and clean. Oh yeah, I just wanted to show you the sign I made years ago with a fancy computerized router machine. Just sort of tells what I do up here. At any rate, what I wanted to show in this video is what I'd like to call a new invention of mine, but if I did, I'd be lying because I found this on the internet. Believe it or not, from a guy on YouTube from Siberia. And his workshop, I could tell it was about 50 below outside because he had the wood stove going and you could still see his breath. Anyway, this is a homemade device for cutting metal. I have a number of devices, band saws and like over there, a chop saw. You can cut yourself a six piece, six inch piece of metal anytime you want. But if you want to cut something that's, in this case, up to six feet long without using a hand grinder by hand, it's pretty well impossible. So what I did is I've got an inch and a half square piece of steel tube over six foot long, straight as a die, and on it is a little carriage that's constructed with 16 bearings that I got on Amazon from China for like 20 bucks. Unbelievable. And on it is mounted with a little pivot hand angle grinder with a cutoff disc on it. So I can clamp, like in this case, I've got an old road sign that blew into my yard. It's about two and a half feet long. Just clamp it down to the bench and I can start up this grinder and go along and you see I've already scored this mark before. I'm not gonna turn it on and make a big racket. You don't wanna hear that. You're not interested, but it works like a million bucks. And that gave me some pleasure for about two or three days, freaking around with it and trying to get it perfected. And when I want to put it away, when it's in the way, I simply open up this vise on this end, and there's a standoff here to set it at the right height. And on the other far end, I've got another standoff with a little tab on it, and I just put a pair of vice grips on there. So all I have to do is remove the vice grips and loosen the vise, stand the whole thing up in the corner, and put it away for the next year or so until I need to cut something really big. Another big advantage is if you want to cut a long diagonal on something, it's also very difficult. Like this bar stock, if I laid this on here like this, I could cut that perfectly straight on a long angle and do a good job. Anyway, I forget the guy's name that I stole this off of, but he did a wonderful job. And I copied him mostly, but I made a few changes myself. But I think it's pretty good. Anyway. That's all I wanted to say. I think that's all I wanted to show. And you're probably getting bored by now anyway. Okay, totally do folks, take care.